Hi guys, in this video I want to talk you through how to um, figure out some problem solving questions involving quadratic equations. These are quite popular questions on the exams. They do tend to cause some issues but I think the main thing for these questions is to really take your time and not let the the words panic you which we tend to do on maths exams. Okay so let's have a look at question number one. The product of two consecutive even numbers is 528. Before I even read any further I want to underline or circle a few things that have just popped out to me straight away. So the first thing is that they've used the word product. Now you need to think to yourself what does the word product mean? We're told we have two consecutive, again you need to understand what the word consecutive means, and even numbers. So they've given us a lot of information in a very short sentence and obviously they've told us the answer is 528. Let's keep reading. We need to represent this algebraically and solve the equation and we need to also find all possible solutions to the two consecutive numbers. Okay, so... Straight away, what does product mean? Product means when things are multiplied. So we're thinking about multiplication first of all. Consecutive means one after another. So if I said to you, give me two consecutive numbers, you could say five and six, 10 and 11, 12 and 13, 101, 102. They say two consecutive even numbers. So that would be two, four, 12, 14. 16, 18, 22, 24. So just be careful with the fact that they've said even numbers. And they multiply to give us 528. So basically in my head I'm thinking I've got some number here multiplied by some other even number, I suppose. And that's equals to 528. So we need to work out what numbers go in there. Now what we can do is we can say to ourselves, okay, well why don't I call the first number x. So if my first even number 